What's up guys, Gamescom has officially started and they kicked off with the opening night live presentation. I wanted to make a video kind of talking about the highlights of the showcase and what I thought was interesting, kind of talk to you guys about it. Let's get into it. So they start off the presentation with Starfield. They start off with um, some live music from the game, some dude playing on a piano and stuff. And then they went into a live action trailer for the game. And the live action trailer looked cool. It was cool to see um, a live action trailer from Xbox's side. Uh, I feel like we only see live action trailers from PlayStation, but it's cool to see Xbox finally do one. Um, and yeah, the live action trailer it looked like a movie, honestly. It looked like a movie trailer and I could see Starfield being a movie maybe in the future if the game ends up being really good. After the live action trailer, some random dudes go up to Jeff Keighley while he's presenting and start saying, Bill Clinton wants to play GTA 6. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know, it was just really stupid and super disrespectful. After that interruption from those guys, Todd Howard comes out. He starts talking about the game and how... He gives us basically the basic, basic stuff he's been saying. This has been 25 years in the making and how they want to make a game that's bigger than like Skyrim and Fallout, all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. But then after that, he goes talking about how they're going to be doing, how they built a 300-person theater at Gamescom and they're going to be doing a live presentation of, of the beginning of the game. So people there are lucky and they're going to be able to get to see that. Um, hopefully we, maybe a video on IGN or something of like a, of the of that presentation that'd be really cool i'd be excited to see it if not no worries but then he todd goes into giving kind of some more details about how the game starts he basically says you start the game as a miner um he didn't say what plan or anything specifically but you start the game as a miner and you find one of those artifacts that we've been seeing in all the trailers and he says you find an artifact and then you kind of something happens to your character or something and then you go into the character creation and then you basically given your first primary quest and you get let loose in the world um my theory is those artifacts are like alien from aliens like interstellar vibes from aliens and that we're gonna go into like some black hole or something with these artifacts some we're gonna find some aliens. that's my, that's my theory the game comes out september 1st if you get the early access edition which i did it's only 30 extra bucks if you already have game pass so the game's basically free if you have game pass so I was like, I, I would pay 60 if I didn't have Game Pass anyway, so I'll just pay the extra 30 and then I'll get to play on September 1st. But if you guys don't want to do that, the game comes out September 6th. They also showed Little Nightmares 3, which I was kind of intrigued about because I played the first game and the first uh, Little Nightmares I thought was really good. I'm not really into those smaller, like, is it like an indie game, I guess? Indie game for me, I guess. But I played it. The first one was really good because uh, it was on Game Pass and... The second one, I played the demo of it, but I never played the second one because I didn't want to buy it. So I don't know. We'll see if I go back and end up playing it. Uh, the third one looked really cool because there's two characters now and you can now play co-op with like a friend. So I think that's going to be really fun for people. Fun, intriguing, definitely going to keep an eye out for it. Comes out in 2024. They also showed Black Myth Wukong. Um, they showed some more gameplay on that, some new sections. The game looks good. I remember seeing the game a couple years ago. They showed off like a demo of the game to kind of sell, like pitch the game to investors and to hire more people for the game. So luckily the game's still going strong and they're, I think the game's going to get released maybe next year, hopefully. I'm, when it comes to these kind of games, they're kind of like from software games where they're like really hard and they're like really boss focused. I kind of never finish those games because I suck at those games and I get really mad at those games. I don't like dying multiple times and I don't have the patience for it. I'll definitely try it while I finish it. Who knows? After that, they showed this game called Crimson Desert. I saw, I remember seeing this game a couple years ago as well and it looked really good and they showed it again and it was really, really good. The graphics looked uh, insane. The game kind of gave me Red Dead Redemption meets Zelda vibes. The gameplay was also just crazy. The stuff they were showing. They're showing the character pole vaulting over walls. I've never seen pole vaulting in a game in my life. Uh, then they also showed the character like jumping off a cliff with his horse. And then he like turns into like this black smoke. And then just like glides away. And then the horse just like falls on the ground. I thought that was funny. But yeah, I don't know. And then the reason I think it looks like Zelda is because there's a section in the trailer where he jumps off a cliff of these floating islands and he's looking around. There's a bunch of other floating islands. And I was like, dude, that's just that's straight up Zelda. But I mean, I'm not mad at it. It looks cool. Um, he's skydiving down and it just looks crazy. I don't know. And he's like, I don't know. The game just looks really cool. 
Um, definitely something I'm going to look out for. There was no release date for it. So if you guys haven't seen that trailer, go check it out. It looks, looks crazy. They also showed a new trailer for Assassin's Creed Mirage. It didn't look like... I think it was like a story trailer or something. Uh, I'm actually intrigued by Assassin's Creed Mirage because it does go to the OG roots of Assassin's Creed. The OG games were... I mean, like, I, I love those games. Those games are awesome. The Assassin's Creed franchise kind of fell off for me around Black Flag. It was after Desmond died, and then the story started just getting really weird and i don't know it just wasn't it, it just wasn't like keeping me hooked like the og games were like the newer games like assassin's creed uh, uh origins odyssey valhalla those games just aren't i just don't consider those assassin's creed games next they showed modern warfare 3 they showed a level from the campaign um it was like the prison from verdansk and i think the original Marfa 2 where you save i think it was captain price that you save uh, or you save someone from that prison in one of the original games the game starts out amazing graphics by the way it's like you're you're like seal team six you're pulling up to the prison in this like dark atmosphere beautiful water going on you pull up to the side of the prison you grapple hook up climb the prison and then you just get straight tactical with it it's like blue night vision on. Never seen blue night vision, only green, but it's blue. And you're going tactical, and they're like, the, the graphics and the gunplay just look amazing. The, the campaigns haven't missed so far in Marvel for, Like, you can say whatever you want about the multiplayer and all that, but the campaigns in Marvel for 2019, Marvel for 2, those campaigns were fire. So I'm excited for Marvel for 3 because at the end of Marvel for 2, they tease no Russian. And you know what that means. We're going to be getting a lot of that in Marvel for 3. I'm I'm just excited for the story. This, I feel like this might be the best trilogy in terms of story. Next, they showed this game called Nightingale. Nightingale. I remember seeing that also a couple years ago as well. It's like a shared world survival crafting game, kind of like Valheim. That's what it reminded me of Valheim in a lot of ways because there's building, there's like leveling up and crafting, and then you're fighting these bosses. And I don't know. It just it looked like Valheim on a different level. And I don't even know how to explain the art style of the game. It was like re Renaissance punk feel to it. I don't know. It just looked really cool. Those are the kind of games that me and my friends just eat up. After that, they showed this game called First Descendant. Um, I saw. I think I saw this at E3. It's a third person action RPG shooter game, like looter shooter vibes. The, the graphics looked really good. The combat looked really fun. I just don't know if it's going to be one of those games that are like... Because there's so many games like that that I never know if I'm actually going to enjoy until I get my hands on it. So that's all I'll say about that. And they said there's going to be an open beta from September 19th to the, to the 25th. So, I mean, I'm a def I'll try the beta out if it's free and the game's going to be free. So I'm going to definitely try it. They also showed more of the Cyberpunk Liberty expansion slash like DLC or whatever you want to call it. Um, they basically showed off all the new features of the game. Uh, they showed off how it's basically a 2.0 update. It's basically what the game should have been at launch. They showed the new features, like how there's going to be a new district, new vehicles, quests, revamped police system, redesigned cyberware, perks. Um, basically just rehauling, rehauling the whole game in terms of where like your skill points and stuff go. It just seems like a brand new game and what we should have got when the game came out. Luckily, I was one of those people when the game came out, I didn't have issues with the game. I had a few freezes and like one crash, but I played the whole game. I enjoyed it. The last game they showed in the presentation was Alan Wake 2. They showed gameplay of the actual character Alan Wake because the first time they showed gameplay was of the second character you're going to be playing as, this lady that's like a cop or something like that. Um, but yeah, they showed gameplay of Alan Wake and then they showed like these live action parts of the game. I don't know if that's going to be in the game or if that's just in the trailer, but that's something I'm confused on. Maybe you guys can let me know. I don't know what else to say about it. It just looks weird. I don't really know how to explain the story or what's going on because it's like control. I don't know. Definitely going to be a fun game to play. Um, and it comes out October 27th. So Halloween time, perfect time for all that. But yeah, guys, those were all the games that I um, thought were interesting. There were other games too. There were a bunch of other games they showed that that just weren't really my thing. There were other big games like Tekken and uh, Mortal Kombat, but I'm not really a fighting game guy like that. I'll play them with my friends and stuff. But uh, yeah, those were the games. Let me know if there were some other games at the presentation that you guys thought that were interesting because maybe I'll check those out. Maybe they'll intrigue me. But these were just like kind of like a quick off the dome. I thought were going to be fun uh, that I think are going to be fun and I'm definitely going to play. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments um, about Gamescom. And if did you like the presentation? I thought it was pretty... I didn't think it was bad. I didn't think it was good. I thought it was like it was average at, at best or maybe a little a little above average maybe, but it wasn't bad. 
but it wasn't also great. I don't know. It was a good time. I'm excited for Gamescom. I'm excited for more games come out. I'm excited to play them all. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Like the video. Subscribe to this channel. I'm going to make more videos that are just like this, where it's just me talking about um, events and like all the new games that I'm excited to play. So if you enjoy that, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.